Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Lost. We are watching season one, episode 19. It's really getting there now. It's coming up to the season finale. I'm very excited. Um, Deus Ex Machina. I'm Rob, and that's... Um, who are you? Um, I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're Trin. Right. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, exciting last episode but before we get into this episode i wanted to just do a quick update on the character ratings because there have been a few changes i said i'd bring it up when that happens so yeah let's just have a look at that okay so you can see Ew. sawyer after like some thinking after his um badass episode <laughs> I had to put him in love, really. He's got not a lot of redeeming qualities. I understand that. And I understand that him and Kate could almost be compared to each other. So I don't know why he's in love, but I love him. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where he is. And I can't see why Kate isn't up there with him. But I had to sit and think about it with her. Like, what do I do? But it was, it was, it was undecided. So that's where she is. So yeah, any Kate fans, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> it's nothing again. She's not in the dislike or the hate. Um, so just for now, she's undecided. She's stayed there. In like, we got Walt, Jin, and Michael who've moved up. Walt and Michael's episode really, you know, really touched me, and it was really sweet episode. And I know Walt. Burnt the raft, or raft, the yacht. <laughs> yeah, at <laughs> that, this point. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Walt and Michael, yeah, I, I, I like them. I like them now. I've, I made a choice. They are up. And Jin, sorry, he nearly went up into the love. He went, <laughs> nearly went straight up <laughs> into love from, like, undecided. But... I thought with the whole thing with Sun at the moment, you know, that friction, I kind of want to see how that pans out. But, you know, after his episode, I really like the guy. He's he's coming from a good place. He's just not able to open himself up with Sun. And I think if he could talk about things with Sun, it would, it would chill him out. But he's not a communicator. And I think mm. that's, yeah, that's affecting how he is. Um, I think that's it. There's only a few good. changes, but yeah, Jin, he's not done too bad. He was in dislike in the very first one. He's gone up and up and up. Maybe he will be in love. I strongly suspect he possibly will be because <laughs> he's, I don't know, there's something so captivating about watching him. He doesn't speak any English at all once. Yeah, every time I think back to episodes and what I watched in that, um, he's really compelling. So yeah, uh, very, very, very good character. Yeah, and Saeed, um, I don't know, I like him. I do like him. I don't love yet. I was just, I don't know, go for a drink, see how it goes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and yeah, Vincent, he's done nothing wrong. <laughs> no. To be honest, he, he could he eat can, half the survivors exactly. and he's still going to be in the love. <laughs> he can chew them up all. He's still yeah. stay in the love. <laughs> yes, I changed it from super like to love because I thought love was a bit more. I don't know. Mm. Anyway, I really love a character. Like if they kill anyone in the love category, um, <laughs> I'm walking out that door. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but that's it, guys. Um, that's it for now. Again, more changes. Uh, the undecided bit is looking really sparse, isn't it? Mm. Starting to deplete, and everyone's going up. No one's going down. Will that stay like that? We will Find see. out in future episodes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, that's that. Let's go back to the beach and see what Jack has any issues about in this episode. I don't know who this episode's going to be about. No, there's no hint in that name. No. <laughs> there's really no hint in that name. Okay, but yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's yeah, get back to the island. Previously, I'm lost. You neglected to tell us about your condition. Another lock episode. Mm. Let's see if we get any answers as to my suspicions about him in this episode. As to about what he's about, you know? Yeah. One by one, you build the trap. Shoe, bucket, tub. Piece by piece, it all comes together. And then you wait till your opponent... 
I used to I used to build the trap and then just set it off. That was it. You spring the trap. Go ahead, kiddo. Who's that? I'm guessing it's not Helen. Could you tell me where the footballs are? Yeah. Um I'll eight for regulation, I'll fifteen for nerf. Oh yes, thank you. Hmm. No idea who that woman is. All we gotta do is break the glass, and then we're in. A trebuchet delivers half a ton of force. A trebuchet? <laughs> it's called a trebuchet, bro. Because it's trebuchet. I don't get you, man. He built a trebuchet. Everybody's got a story. My story would bore you. I doubt that. It's not been boring so far. I don't rate this trebuchet's chances either, to be fair. One. Ooh. Okay. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. I just didn't think it would open the glass. This was supposed to work! John! You like, man. Ooh. How are you not feeling that? Adrenaline. Oh no. Mm. Ow, no. What? We can still move his legs. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I know he can't feel anything in his legs, but he can still stand on yeah. So we're just gonna build another one of your inventions, hope it works this time. That's right. What if it doesn't? Then the island will tell us what to do. What's that? The island will tell us what to do. Coming back to that. Your leg okay? It's fine. He's, he's being flaky again. This is the lock guy yeah. that we saw. It looks weird with hair. <laughs> Get rid of it. <laughs> Ooh. Well, that didn't put him in a wheelchair. That's a good point. He's not even in a wheelchair right now. Yeah, it's really... We can see that he's really, really young compared to his first story, so... He did say how many years he'd been living in that wheelchair, so it shouldn't be a surprise. Who are you? I'm your mother. Are you? <laughs> I'm so distrusting. <laughs> oh, John. Don't you understand? You don't have a father. You were immaculately conceived. <laughs> what? But he's special as well, like Walt's special. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why they get on. I don't know what the special means, though. It's such a broad yeah. term. So when Locke says the island will tell us, yeah, is that what the the monster is? Like an embodied form of the island? The way he said that, like he knows something. I told you, like when he saw something, he knows something. He's got clarity of thought, except in this episode so far. I'd love nothing more than to check the guy out and make sure he's okay. But we both know all I'm going to get for my trouble is a snappy one-liner. And if I'm real lucky, a brand new nickname. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. But we will open it. The island will show us how. What kind of sign will the island send us? Huh, John? What the hell? <laughs> There's a plane. Did you see that? Boom. What the hell is going on? What? Teresa falls up the stairs. Oh, he's dreaming. Teresa falls up the stairs. Teresa falls down the stairs. Yeah, he's having a really bad panic, panic dream. Don't take it back. I thought Boone was being a little bit um, decisive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just the way he was. It just seemed weird. And I really want to know what's in that hatch. Hopefully, we get to see some progression on the hatch in this one. So, she's my mother. I lifted some hairs from her car and matched them with your DNA samples. It's 99% certain. Wow. Immaculately conceived, though. I, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff isn't meant to be, even though it may feel that way. But this probably won't have a happy ending. So, do you want it or not? I'd take it, wouldn't you? Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, even if it works out for the worst, like at least you you can stop it, stop it eating away at you. Yeah. John Locke, 
I'm Anthony Cooper's son. Mr. Cooper doesn't have a son. He does now. Yes, sir. Well, you can go on in, sir. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Unless me is dad, then. What kind of guy is he? This is awkward. Thank you for seeing me, sir. I'm, uh, John. I know him from somewhere. Mm, yeah, me too, but I can't tell you now. <laughs> <laughs> no. She said I didn't have a father, that I was immaculately conceived. <laughs> <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah, you know, when you say it out loud. <laughs> when she drops off the face of the planet, when she turns up again, she's asking me for money. Telling me she put you up for adoption. You gonna drink that or what? Did you just put ice in my whiskey? You're not my dad. <laughs> Do you hunt? No. <laughs> no. You're not one of those animal rights nut jobs, are you? No. No, sir. What are you doing this Sunday? He doesn't hunt. Yet. <laughs> So he'd learn to hunt from his dad. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah, not bad dad then. It was a dream, but it was the most real thing I've ever experienced. I know where to go now. Go for what? Find what we need to open this bastard up. Have you been using that wacky paste stuff that made me see my sister get eaten? Because, <laughs> <laughs> John, I gotta tell you, signs and dreams and... Who's Teresa? Yeah, Teresa. Teresa falls up the stairs, Teresa falls down the stairs. Is that relevant to Boone? You were saying that in the dream. How do you know about that? Whoa. We're supposed to find that plane. Will you come with me? You kind of have to if he's just said something you've not even talked about to anyone. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? This island is really, really mental. <laughs> <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> I was gonna ask you how this was going, but it's coming together fast. Yeah, they rebuilt that really fast. We learned a few things from building the first one, which is saving us from trial and error. Now it's just trial. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Does he understand him now? Picking up on a little Korean there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty sure I know how to say uh, faster in idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this. Uh, this relationship, Michael and... Yeah. Seeing how it started. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. I hear you're having trouble with your head. Well, now she got you making house calls. You're sensitive to the light, too, huh? You know what? I'm sensitive to you. All right. We'll see you. We tried. <laughs> Doc. Sensitivity to light, that bad? Depends. On what? On what's causing your headaches? It's not like it's a tumor or something. What makes you think it's a tumor? I don't. <laughs> okay, I'll then. see you later. <laughs> Look, if this is worrying you, there's a couple of tests that I could do. Sorry. Oh, God. Sounds fun. But my insurance ran out. <laughs> <laughs> insurance ran out. That, that's a good one. Jack's playing this well, isn't he? He's making him do the chasing rather than trying to pester. I think he maybe figured out the more he pesters Sawyer. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't get him anywhere. Nah. What is wrong with your leg? I'm fine. Yeah, this is the flaky lock we haven't seen since episode, what, three or something? I can't remember. Yeah. His episode, basically. Someone from camp hiked all the way out here? Nope. Where do you think it came from? Oh, wow. Is that a priest? Morning, Eddie. Morning, Mr. Lock. You gentlemen gonna get some birds again? I sure hope so. No, oh, he's loving having a dad, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anthony? You weren't supposed to be here till 12. Uh, I thought you said 11. What is this? It's a dialysis machine. My kidney's failing. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> what is a Nigerian priest doing on an island in the South Pacific? And he's... I'm not so sure he's a priest. More guns. They're going to have to start coming up with, like, gun regulations and stuff like that. Soon <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there's going to be one per person. Get up. You're going to Jack. Do I get a lollipop? <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's okay. What the hell are you doing with that thing? Checking to see how your pupils respond to changing stimuli. Is it because he's always reading? <laughs> he's always reading. So maybe, I don't know, maybe he needs glasses. Have you ever had a blood transfusion? What? 
taking pills for malaria? Nope. Have you ever had sex with a prostitute? <laughs> he ain't gonna answer that, is he? What the hell's that got to do with anything? Uh, yes? Yes. <laughs> Jack, you're loving this too much. Have you ever contracted a sexually transmitted disease? I'm gonna take that as another yes. <laughs> I know he deserved it, but he needs glasses. Ah, figured. I didn't think it would be so minor. I mean, my dad had the same issue. Mm. He was suffering from headaches, and he had to get glasses. Yeah, it can. That's the only reason I thought. <clears throat> can get really bad. <laughs> yeah, his were pretty bad. He was worried as well. Mm. Jack wouldn't know. The first thing about what's wrong with me. John. Oh no! What's happening? I was in a wheelchair. What? Paralyzed. He's telling someone. I was in that chair when we took off, but not after we crashed. Why were you in a wheelchair? Can you imagine Locke being able to not walk anymore on this island? That is going to kill his character, you know? Yeah. There's something that we were meant to find. There's something that's going to help us get into the hatch. I know it. But we got to keep going. Okay. Can you move your legs? Ah, oh, Boone being a stand-up guy, man. Starting to like this guy. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Good shot, son. No, oh, that got him right in the fields. Your mother, she may be a little crazy, but at least she brought us together. Thank God it happened now. Well, we still have time. I'm a suspicious person, yeah. and I feel rotten for thinking it, but is he fishing for a donor? I had the Good same shot, son. same feelings <laughs> as you when, for, when I first saw this. So. You can just see his facial expressions don't line up with what he's saying a little bit. <laughs> he was right. I'm going to have to unpack quite a bit at the end. Yes. <laughs> what's important is what's inside it. What is inside of it, John? They're going to have to climb up there for us and find out. Uh, I don't like that idea much. It's hanging from a freaking cliff. Look at it. Mm -hmm. It's only the tails on the... Yeah, not a fan of that, John. <laughs> not really a fan of that. But I know John knows something, and I kind of feel like... I'd probably do it, because uh, he thinks it's going to be okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> there you go. I'm so thankful for you, John. Keep saying that after you've had the transplant. See you on the other side, son. I mean, if if he keeps up the relationship with Locke after, then okay. Eh. Locke comes out richer than he was before, but I don't know, horrible feeling. <laughs> you uh, you got, uh, got hyperopia. <laughs> don't say it like that. <laughs> Look at his face. That's, uh... What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Far side. Yeah. It can develop later in life, especially when you add a new strain to the eyes, like with reading. Um, <laughs> I hope that's good. It works. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't take them anyway. I would stick with the headaches. Look at Saeed. Is he made a soldering, like a soldering yeah. iron and stuff like that on the art? He's crazy good, man. <laughs> Dude, looks like someone steamrolled Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> you love this, don't you? Yeah. You're welcome. Oh, it was nice of Jack. But he owes him one, probably ten. <laughs> he owes him ten. <laughs> his face. <laughs> oh, to be fair, if you're gonna sit down and read, you wouldn't care what anyone thinks you look like. It's relevant though what they did, because when you're farsighted, it's never the same. Like they couldn't just find the right um, <clears throat> glasses without doing that. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well thought. It's good job they had a box of glasses. <laughs> But Saeed probably would have found some kind of mineral and yeah. crafted glass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not liking this. I'm sure it'd be okay, but my uh, my 
butt would be puckered up tight if I was <laughs> up there. Oh, the map could be handy. Find out what where they are. In Nigeria. <laughs> They're not in Nigeria. Are they? <laughs> well, I don't know. No, no, they can't be. Your sign. Yeah, yeah, a load of uh <laughs> load of stash. Load of drugs. <laughs> oh no. Charlie, no. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling this is gonna come round? <laughs> like because Charlie's got no temptation whatsoever at the moment. Although Jack could use it. That'd be quite a good painkiller. Not use it, use it, you know what I mean? Like yeah. medicinal, yeah. <laughs> Just so yeah, don't worry. Like, <laughs> Jack being all. <laughs> a radio. Wow, this, this episode's just giving everything. It, it works? <laughs> oh, please don't fall. Oh. Yeah, you might have to just get out now, but the radio's working. Mayday, mayday. Food, there's no time. Get out now. Someone Hello? Oh my god, there's a voice. Can you hear me? Repeat your transmission. What? Please copy. Oh, get out now. Uh, stay or go, stay or go, stay. No, too late. That didn't look good. That came down in the worst way possible. Boone, is Boone okay? Come on, Locke. Oh, there he looks like he did in his dream. He's breathing. It looks like he's awake. That's a good sign. Yeah, you're going to have to... Have Run to Jack. Jack! Help! No time for romance. No, 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 no. Put him down up here. Oh, come on. Jack can do this. Jack can do anything. I don't think Boone needs glasses, though. Mm. Oh, my God. John, tell me exactly what happened. John. Oh, look, you moron. He he kept the most important piece of information out, didn't he? Yeah. He was, he was in a play. <laughs> Where is he? Mr. Cooper checked out this afternoon. Oh, I had a horrible feeling. Did he leave me a message? No, not that I know of. You just relax, Mr. Locke. I'm going to get you some juice. Oh. I'm sorry, John. What are you doing here? I needed some money. He's always been good that way. Your father's always been generous. You told me I didn't have a father. Well, he said that was the only way you would give it to him. He'd have to be your idea. <laughs> Both of them. You wouldn't do this to me. Oh, John, you poor man. Careful. Oh, no, he can still walk. I thought that maybe there's a complication with the surgery or something. I'm waiting to see how he ends up in the wheelchair now. Yes. <laughs> What's going to do it? Oh, he's got oh, it's an open wound. What a piece of shit. That's tragic. That's really sad. His upbringing didn't sound too great either. Grew up in foster homes. Mm. Well, I mean, they could have been pleasant foster homes, but you know that usually. I've done everything you wanted me to do. So why did you do this to me? What is it about this hatch? Oh my god, the hair's just up on the back of my neck. <laughs> what the hell? Can you see anything? Oh, you son <laughs> of 
Ah, again, Locke gets to see something none of us... <laughs> no, no one else does. What an episode. Oh, that was... Yeah. It's going to be so difficult to edit that one because there's so much going on. Mm. I pretty much don't think YouTube will let me upload the entire episode <laughs> <laughs> to YouTube. Uh, no, that was insane. Okay. So we're thinking about the island... Trying to remember everything that just transpired here. Maybe you can help me out. But uh, I, I'm i thinking of... Um, he's referring to the island. The island will tell me stuff. Yeah. So people want me to make guesses. I'm going to make an outlandish guess and say that the essence of the island <coughs> is that thing. Because his connection with the island seems to have happened. That clarity I've been going on and on about with Locke yeah. seems to have happened after he met it. And now he's referring to the island as something that can tell him stuff. So maybe that's connected. And also, the island, conveniently, if we're to believe everything we saw in this episode, and I'm going based on just, what I, obviously, what I've seen, you know, some of you might mm -hmm. know more and think this is stupid or whatever, but it seems like the island took his ability to walk just so he couldn't go in that plane because someone was going to get hurt in that plane. It was almost leading Boone to his fate because he couldn't walk when they found the plane. He could just barely stand up when Boone was already in the plane. Boone falls down, Locke can stand. And not only that, carry a full-grown man all the way back to the beach. So the island's almost like it's protecting John, but in the same, in the same thought, the island showed Locke the plane. So what's it... You know what I mean? Like, it yeah. seems weird... Why the island would show him a plane, take his ability to walk so they can go up in it, but then Boone would have to, and then Boone would get hurt. And I hope he's going to be all right. I shouldn't think it'd be too bad. But I, I, uh, I know from experience, you need to tell the doctor everything. Yeah, especially if it's be falling from... <laughs> yeah, from because there's a difference the between falling from a cliff, you know, just, just ah, I fell... And another one, if you're in a plane, falling down, there's a, there's a whole difference, <laughs> you know, and that's the plane. But Locke, with his secrets, doesn't want to say about the plane. Probably because he doesn't want to explain how he knew about the plane, but you could, you could, you could lie about that and just say he found it. Uh, maybe it would lead back to the hatch and he doesn't want to explain. He's a man of secrets, Locke. Yeah. A man of secrets. So the fact he could see down that glass with the light on, I don't think he's going to tell anyone what he saw. Which means, I don't know, unless there's... There could be many reasons for that light to come on, but let's assume someone's in it. Just just for fun. Let's assume mm -hmm. someone's in it to turn the light on. <laughs> what the hell is it? <laughs> like, and who is he? Is it Ethan's people? Because we know Ethan isn't alone. They always refer themselves are they <laughs> so. yeah so maybe it's part of that group maybe he doesn't really want to be open in that hatch or maybe that's how they get about maybe there's tunnels and they can work their way around the island and they've got all these hatches all over the place but this one was covered so it hasn't been used in a while I don't know okay so moving on Locke's <laughs> dad is a right piece of trash yeah. I don't know I was I was hoping the best for him it started off okay but coming over with the, dialysis, the dialysis machine, and he's saying, oh, you're not supposed to be here by 12. He said, oh, I thought you said 11. I was I thinking... Yeah, right. Yeah, it just happened to be an hour early. Yeah, the miscommunication. And then he's like, good shot, son. And when Locke leant down to pick up the shells, I just kind of suddenly kind of see him like, looking like... You know, like he had this look on his face, and I was thinking, please don't. Please don't. But in typical Lost fashion, it didn't let us down. It's created very interesting moments for characters. His dad is trash, but Locke is so interesting. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of how he handled Boone. Go on. Yeah, no, yeah, uh, exactly. He's, um, I think he's just, he got a really, really difficult life, you know? So I wouldn't mm. give him that much um, hard time on how he handled Boone, but... Yeah, it was. No, I mean, obviously, it could be the secrets thing I said, or it could be just the fact that he's going through a lot right now and didn't think it through. Mm. 
mm. uh, to give Jack the information. It'd probably be okay anyway, but, you know, Jack ain't going to be happy. <laughs> well, he wasn't happy. <laughs> no. And he, didn't he just Batman out of there? Like, he turned around and he was gone. There was no trace. There was no trace of Locke. <laughs> Completely disappeared. Am I missing anything? Oh, yeah, I was looking in this episode to see if we could... Because it did occur to me. I'm so used to seeing him walking around until he got hit by the car, thinking, oh, there's no way that put him in a wheelchair. Of course, he was in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping we get to see how that happened. I, I, I bet we will, because, yeah. If, if Lost is showing a wheelchair and then a moment before where I'm not in a wheelchair, it's creating that mystery and they're going to they're gonna show it. But I thought that maybe the surgery went wrong or something. Mm. But he stood up out of bed. That's fine. No. And who's Helen? <laughs> no, I don't think Helen's anybody really. No, no, it was way before the Helen. That thing. Thing, yeah. yeah. No, I don't think Helen in general is going to turn out to be anybody. I mean, I don't think we'll see Helen. She was just on the phone and didn't want to speak to him anymore. So, oh, maybe. Mm, no, I think they've only ever talked on the phone, so we won't see a flashback with Helen in it. Um, no, it's crazy. I'm sure, yeah. Boone will be fine. Not too worried about Boone. That'd be a lousy um, thing to happen. If he dies because of that, <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> but uh, Yeah, now we have a possibly working plane with a possibly working radio. <laughs> yeah, I can't see that plane going anywhere, but the radio, <laughs> the radio yeah. is interesting. Because there was an answer. Mm-hmm. God, so much happened in this episode. It's like, why couldn't you space this out? <laughs> so just give me a moment to reflect on what... Like, Too much information. About, yeah, there's so many things. I mean, it's great. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um, but I'm trying to break it down while it's fresh in my mind. Yeah. Of what I'm thinking about it. I can't wait to see what's in that hatch. I hope it's just not a toilet and someone was going to the bathroom. To the line. <laughs> I, I doubt it. No, that was, that was the most. I mean, there's been a few intriguing episodes, but that one threw a lot at me. The the fact that Locke can see things and he's getting told things, so he's special. That island is connecting with John. It's making him walk. He's connecting with like things he's seeing. His dreams are coming true. But the island don't like Boone. <laughs> it's the vibe I'm getting, because he wouldn't let Locke go up there. The island, he, the island wouldn't let. Lock go up in that plane. Yeah, no. That should have been a red flag straight away, really. But I'll well, know that now. It's great in hindsight <laughs> to know. No, fantastic episode. Um, I'm not missing anything, am I? Is there something I've... For now, yeah. I mean, it, it was a heavy uh, information giving episode. So yeah, yeah. You'll you'll probably reflect on it while editing and see. Stuff. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, yeah. I'll probably remember and like always if i see anything or pick up anything extra or you guys tell me something in the comments i will um try to mention it in the intro Mm -hmm. of the next video so we get everything but no i mean it 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 was a shame i couldn't get so caught up in the drama of what was happening with Locke. it was a really emotional scene and i felt like you know it was it was really sad it kind of got me in the feels yeah but there's so much going on my brain's churning away with everything that i'm seeing that I, I was disconnected from the drama because of all the, like, is this Boone okay? Why is the island talking to Locke? Why couldn't Locke walk for a bit? What You know, and I'm sitting there th- trying to think it through. But uh, that was a really, really scummy thing for his dad to yeah. do, and I can't wait to see um, how this develops with Locke's character because they've gone right back. He's got a, not a full head of hair, but he's got hair. So there's there's time gaps there, you know, yeah. from after this has happened. So we could possibly see other stuff after this. Oh, so so good. I'm pretty sure there's many episodes left. We're gonna see a lot of flashbacks. <laughs> but no, I can't think of anything else to say other than that was that was yeah, that was like a ten out of ten episode. That was for me. That was fantastic. And it's just keeps opening the show up as to what the possible what this show is. Yeah. I keep thinking I, I, I kind of get it figured a little bit, but then it just goes more. <laughs> like the, talking to the island, the island will tell me. That's really sticking with me. Mm. And that beast that he saw, the beast thing, I don't know, an embodiment of the island. Island's protector 
or moderator. <laughs> it's not <laughs> it's trying me. To shut down. Yeah, it's trying to shut down any insensitivity on the island. Like, Stop it. Um, but no, I, I can't wait to see the next one. Um, hopefully yeah. things start to... as I think as the season comes to an end, we're going to get a lot more going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd love to pick the brains of someone, but I'd get spoiled. So I can't do it. I'm going to have to wait and learn it for myself. So thank you guys for sticking with us and watching. And if you've got this far, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you like the full reactions, they're linked in the description box down below. So we will see you in the next one. See you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Take care.